We're gonna change gears. We're gonna go into something that's completely different, a different way of looking at a margarita. And again, it's kind of a seasonal thing. This is really great for holidays. So the first thing that we're doing is to take agave syrup, and this is the one that we use. I like this, the, the Blue Agave, the organic brand. It's got the best flavor. So what is agave syrup derived okay. from? It's from the agave, the same plant that is used to distill into tequila. There's a, a way that you can extract the sweetness of it in the same way that people would extract, say, corn syrup from corn. And you end up with this agave syrup, which has got this really rich flavor and we have heated that up with a little chopped uh, ginger. And we're making a ginger syrup basically here. And I'm gonna strain out the ginger from that so that we can use a little bit of it in our drink. I'm gonna reinforce the flavor of the ginger in this by muddling a piece of ginger. Actually, I'm gonna throw a couple of them because they're small on this end here. Throw a couple of those pieces in. And you can do this if you want to, but I, I find it really fun. This is kaffir lime, which I think is delicious with the lime that you would put in this, this drink here. So I'm gonna actually cut up some pieces of it that I can muddle right in there. What does the kaffir refer to? Um, you know, if you're from Thailand, it does not mean something nice. <laughs> and really? so they really want us to start <laughs> using another, <laughs> another word for it. But it's the citrus plant that has a bifurcated leaf. I don't think we have any, that one that I had out here was really beautiful, but it's a two part leaf. And um, it's more used for the leaves in Thai curries and things like that than it is for the fruit, which is very knobby on the outside. I only know this because I love the stuff so much that I have a plant of it, <laughs> have had for years, and it produces this knobby lime at the end of the season and it has almost no juice in it but you can use the rind of it and it's really delicious rind so I'm going to use this muddler to crush the ginger together with that kaffir lime just enough to release the seasonings in here and then we're going to put in a very small amount it's about a quarter of an ounce of this agave syrup there. We're going to go for our Blanco tequila. Again, the one and a half ounces. And now I'm going to add a half an ounce of the orange liqueur. Again, I'm, I'm using the Cointreau here. You could get by with using any of the light orange liqueurs like triple sex. So you might want to look and see what the alcohol content of it is. Not because you're looking to make a really super boozy drink, but because what happens with the, with when you lower the alcohol in some of those triple sex is that you also lower the flavor. They don't have very much flavor. So about a half an ounce of fresh lime juice there. And we'll put in a big handful of this ice. And I think I've got everything in there now to shake this one up. Now, this is not one that I typically would use a salted rim on because it's going in a completely different direction flavor-wise with the ginger. And then what we're going to do is to top this off with a little bit of sparkling wine, making a sparkling ginger margarita. I think everybody would have fun with it, would enjoy it. And that ginger is so beautifully warming. So we'll do, it fills it to about, you know, two thirds full there. So we're gonna top it off. This is a little cava from Spain. And then you could take one of these leaves and just float a piece of that right on the top of it. And you've and got sparkling it. ginger. That's the perfect margarita for the more casual than usual Friday. I love it. <laughs> I love it. This has been loads of fun. So and very thank much. Thank you for stopping by here because it's really, really a treat for Absolutely us. Absolutely my pleasure. Thank you so much, Ed.